Olympic and World Championship diver and LGBTQ plus advocate, Tom Daly in this book explores what shaped him and the qualities that brought him the resilience that led him to competition at a world-class level to the courage that led him to reclaim the narrative around his sexuality. Wow. Huge sentence. Okay. <laughs> the original version of this book came out in um, came out in September 2021, but the audio version came out in May 2022. It is said by many to be a candid, inspiring window into the life of a champion and advocate who left an unforgettable mark on our generation and the history of sports. It seems athletes and cast members and musicians and all who come out just leave huge milestones in their fields and the LGBTQ plus community. But let's talk about this book. Okay, let's talk about the chapters, things I noticed, things I learned, things that surprised me. If there's anything in it I wasn't crazy about, I'll go over some standout quotes who I recommend this book to and what books to maybe check out next. Just so you guys know, there are affiliate links in the description and if you guys buy anything through those links, then I get commission, which helps me build this channel and keep making these videos. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam and I wanna make self growth normal, because people shouldn't have to look this information up. It should just be mainstream knowledge. If you agree, then please make sure to smash that like button. Age is interesting to me when it comes to memoirs. So I mention it often when it comes to memoirs. But this guy is 28, and I get the impression that Olympic athletes tend to write their autobiographies at a wide age range, unlike cast members, musicians, artists, managers, etc. I don't know why this is, but I suppose that it is what it is and what it is is what it is. Reminds me of Josh in that one episode of Drake and Josh with the theater thug where he's like, where he said that he's like Antoine, he's like, what it is. <laughs> It's too late, I've been up for like 17 hours. Um, the chapter names, they all give off the idea to me that like the author will be writing about the distinct traits that make him a successful person. Each chapter, like his experiences of adopting them into his operating system in virtually every area of life. Each chapter is an emotion or habit or series of thought loops that push one to what you could consider a higher state of life really. Perseverance, courage, acceptance, purpose. This is not like a Nassim Taleb book. Like, bro, your your chapter names do not have to be the length of a Supreme Court justice term, okay? After a devastating, what sounded like sensory overload or draining time at a competition in 2012, he decided to come out on his own terms online. He is now married and he and his husband have a baby boy. Daly said that his perspective has calibrated and reshifted dramatically dramatically. This all happened in the public's gaze, which brought its own challenges to his life. So in this book, just like I suspected there would be, okay, he hopes to point toward significant moments over mainly the last decade that helped guide him toward a career of personal contentment because those moments led him to develop traits that helped him accomplish his goals. So he's gonna share those with us. I love this level of like clarity and transparency of like what you see is what you get in a book like this. Chapter one is perseverance. One thing that immediately stands out is that he does not start from the beginning. Daly does not start from his childhood. This is so abnormal. Hmm. He starts with his training in Houston, getting more used to twist dives. It's crazy to think that when you get to a certain point in like recognition and skill development, people are like, you're, you're doing so well. It'll be fine. Even if your trainer is saying it, but inside you're like freaking out, practicing everything else just to compensate for your shortcomings. It makes you feel so alone because it's like no one really understands. There were many occasions I would burst into tears and refuse to try new dives. And around the age of 11, I didn't dive off the 10 meter board for almost a whole year because I felt like I was losing myself in the air and I couldn't physically make myself jump from the platform. This reminded me of Simone Biles' book, Courage to Soar. Chapter two is courage speaking of courage, I couldn't tell one third of the way into this one why it was called courage, but I love how he said he always wanted to start a family of his own from a young age and he would see like cute baby outfits at airports when traveling and he would think, what if I never see this again? So he just bought it and stored it at home for when he did have a baby. That was probably well before you, you know, know what. So the prices were you know you where know compared to you know when. when. You know what I mean? Are people really that nosy that they have to know why so many of an Olympic divers Twitter followers are gay? <laughs> Of course this chapter had to do with coming out and the beginning of his relationship with his now husband, Dustin Lance Black. That's a really cool name, isn't it? <laughs> chapter three, acceptance. Someone died in this chapter, spoiler alert. I won't say who though, but it was a tearjerker. They had to go like way too soon.
Like 40 years old, seriously? It was very, very, very heartfelt. From so many different angles, you can very well tell the impact that it had on Tom. Chapter four is called Purpose. This chapter was about the sense of purpose he got from a break he took from diving and how he got back on the saddle, per se, from there, maybe back on the board or back off the board or not back, maybe front, he, he jumped what the hell am I saying? <laughs> Chapter five, endurance. Something he learned from training, by the way. This guy is an Olympian diver. From who knows how high up, you need to dive into the water with perfect form. Who knows what kind of training goes into this without like dying. While executing this training, however, he learned that he can't push his body too far from the edge of what's physically and mentally possible. You just can't neglect your mental health during the healing process. Chapter six is confidence. He had to go through multiple what sounded like confidential crises to figure out how to perform with the level of endurance he needs while feeling good about how he looks. And chapter seven is resilience. Here's how strict your life can be as an Olympian diver, okay? I'm drug tested all the time. Drug testers come randomly to test me at any time and demand a urine sample for analysis to show I don't use drugs. There are various organizational bodies involved in this process to ensure compliance. I fill out a form online stating every hour where I am and where I sleep at night for every day of every week of every year. If they turn out to test me and I'm not where they say I'm going to be, I get a strike. Three strikes and you're out. What does that even mean? What is out? I mean, I guess fired? I don't know. Who is it that's like in charge of this? <laughs> Is it the owner of the Olympics? <laughs> Chapter eight is kindness. There are some golden moments in this book. Like I love how in the beginning of kindness, when he was talking about his dad, where whether he did well or not in competitions, he was treated the same at the end by his dad. Each dive of six is an individual event anyway. So if one goes bad, it's not like the others have to. Chapter nine is perspective. It's so cute that between like him and Lance, it was like, well, who's going to propose first? I also found it interesting what he said about being newly married, adding a layer and sense of security in his life. Is this a thing? Also, after listening to this chapter, like surrogacy, it sounds really, really complicated. But their time as parents has changed Daly's perspective on a lot of things in life. Emotions of others, gratitude, pressuring himself, legacy, etc. Chapter 10 is motivation. Athletes are some of the most motivated people you will ever hear or see or ever hear of or see of, right? Mm -hmm. This chapter went over the author's experience and schedule adjusting to the pandemic. Lastly, chapter 11 is optimism. This is very up-to-date info. I mean, this guy is 28 years old. Okay, in very recent events of the last two or three years, showing how screwed up everything got. And by everything, I mean everything. But it's always interesting to see what authors do about this and how they keep themselves from going insane, quite frankly. A last note before I get to the quotes, a lot of these things like family, new hobbies, exercise shows, maybe getting involved in online communities, they almost sound like they, they allow us to become more of ourselves in a way we didn't notice before. That just came to mind while I was listening to this chapter. And some people didn't do this, but, but you had the chance to. Why am I talking about all these things like it's still quarantine? I don't know. Quotes. You can go into any competition hoping to do well, but if you don't believe you can win, then it's never going to happen. Who knows what you'll achieve when you refuse to be beaten? Today's news is tomorrow's fish and chip paper. What? I have 2 million followers on Instagram, and so every time I post a picture, I feel as though I'm standing on a stage and giving everybody the opportunity to shout whether they like what I'm wearing and doing or not. That's the most frustrating thing about injuries. All the control is stripped from you. Direction one. I definitely recommend this book for any athlete athletes and anyone struggling with sort of like a, like a sexual identity or anybody curious about how people move forward despite obstacles with either or both of these things. Direction two. If you like this book, you definitely would like uh, Courage to Soar by Simone Biles. Coming Up for Air by Tom Daly. There's a link in the description if you guys want to check it out and read the reviews. That and all the other books I mentioned in this video if you want to check those out too. If there are any other books that you guys want me to check out and review, please let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you checked out this book and you liked it. But hey, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, because I don't get why people watch this far into my videos and they don't subscribe, but if you have subscribed and you want to turn it up just a notch and turn on that notification bell to get a notification whenever I drop new videos, that would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can find me everywhere and we'll see you then.